Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, today we will speak about a very clear, a huge actually contradiction in the Quran. Uh, you know, the more you, the more you know, the more you uh, you feel how sad it is that anyone in this earth he can believe in such a stupid religion. And today, a video is about just one more contradiction of hundreds, if not thousands. You know, because I think I believe every, every, almost every line in the Quran is a contradiction for other line. However, today I want people to take notes and please spread this video around, give it to your friends, and uh, let everybody knows and learn how stupid this religion is. Now, I'm not calling names, by the way, when I say stupid. I'm saying stupid because it is stupid, and I can prove it easy. In front of us, we have two verses in the Quran, chapter 17, verse 94. And chapter 17 verse 95 which mean both are in the same chapter so what those chapters are talking about as long 94 come first and then we will read and then we will go to 95 and then we will see what what it's talking about you can choose any translation you want however I don't approve any of them because all of them they are fabrication full of lies in order to deceive you uh, even Muslim themselves don't accept the Quran to be translated but for the sake of deception, they agree. So, verse number 94 saying the following. And read with me, please. <clears throat> what kept man back from belief when guidance come to them was nothing but this. They said, has Allah sent a man like us to be his messenger? Now, we want to stop here for a second. So, here we have a problem, according to Allah. Muslims, or not Muslims in general, like people, uh, when a messenger comes to them, they have a problem to believe in him. Why? Because he is a man. He is sending a man to us. So, obviously, those people, they are saying, uh, I will not believe unless you send me someone who is not a man like us. Then, Allah, he decided to answer them. And he answered in the verse after, saying, say so he's telling muhammad to answer say if if they were settled on earth angels walking about in peace and quiet we should certainly have sent them down from the heaven an angel for a messenger so the logic of the quran is what if this earth is the land of the angels where angels live and if I am sending to the angels a messenger, for sure I will send an angel, I will not send a man. Alright? So, what, what Allah is saying here, because you are a human, I'm sending you a messenger. Which means Allah will never send an angel to human. Because if he, he, because if he does, then he, he do not need to make this, uh, his, his, this verse. He can just say, Oh, well, I, I did. Uh, I am going to do that. No problem. Uh, what do you want me to send you? Uh, you know, he did not do that. He made a condition. He said, in order to send you an angel in this earth, you yourself, you have to be an angel too. So, if in this earth there is angels walking here, huh? angels, they are walking, then you know what? You have a point. I am going to send you an angel. Uh, because you are an angel, but as long you are not an angel, why you are asking me to send you an angel as a messenger when you are not? So, so the, the, the clear thing about this, Allah will not send messengers to mankind except from mankind. And just to make it clear more, we go to the interpretation so nobody will say you get it wrong, doesn't say that, etc. This is the interpretation of Ibn Abbas, one of the biggest scholars in Islam. He says, Say, O Muhammad, to people of Mecca, and again, this is to people of Mecca, right? And Muslim, they say, speak, you know, Muhammad, he speak to all mankind, when the fact that the whole message supposedly is for Umm al-Qura, which is the village of Muhammad, and the villages around it. So, O Muhammad, say to people of Mecca, if there were on earth angels walking secure, we had sent down for them from heaven uh, messengers, you know, an angel as a messenger. So if there was, I will send 
messengers from the angels. So because there is no angels live in this earth, I'm not sending angels as messengers. Very clear, right? And then he continue, <clears throat> for we send angel messenger only. Do you see it only here? Only to angels. Here we have a big problem. Huge problem. Exposing that Muhammad is nothing but a fabricator, a scam, and a liar. Because all of us we know that Muhammad he claimed that the angel Jibreel he came to him and he gave him the message of Allah. Which means Jibreel in this point he was a messenger from Allah to Muhammad. If only Allah he sent a messenger to mankind, a messenger who is a mankind, why he is sending Jibreel? Correct? So it's obvious lie, contradiction, and actually a contradiction with other verse. But let us focus on this one first, just to prove it and make it more uh, uh, more clear for those who do not know much about Islam. All of us, we know the story of uh, uh, read, read, right? You remember the story? However, we will go to a different verse. Uh, you know, the story is about Muhammad was in the cave, and then Jibreel, he came to him, and he squeezed him. And all the Muslims admit and they agree that the one who delivered Quran to Muhammad, it was Jibreel, the angel of Allah, and he was an angel. So, obviously here there is a very huge contradiction. Prove to us that Islam is nothing but a fabrication. Because remember, the Quran says, if this book is not from God, you will find a lot of contradiction. Right? So the Quran put a scale for itself. And that can be found in chapter 4, verse number 82. If this book is not from God, you will find a lot of contradiction in it. So if you find one contradiction in the Quran, all the Quran is not valid according to, the, to this verse. Right? And here actually, the, the verse itself saying that the Arab, uh, they do not believe in Quran, and they, they don't consider it a holy book. And I, I understand why, because it's a, it's a garbage. So don't they consider the Quran with care? Like why they don't like it? Had it been uh, from other than Allah, they would surely uh, have found there much uh, like a contradiction. So it's clear evidence from the one who made the Quran that if you find contradiction, the whole book, the Quran, not a verse, the whole Quran is invalid. And here what we see, uh, uh, obvious proof that Jibreel cannot be a messenger for Muhammad because simply when the Quran claimed that he is the one who sent down revelation to Muhammad that make him the messenger from Allah to Muhammad but the verse in the Quran in the other verse we are here right, reading chapter 2 verse number 97, 97 90, 96 the other verse in the Quran chapter 19 verse number 17 it says uh, and this one is speaking about Mary that Allah he sent to Mary his spirit and his spirit appeared to her as perfect man and the Muslim believe that the, the spirit here is Jibreel. So again, Jibreel came to Mary and he was a messenger to her. So now we have two problems in the Quran. Muhammad coming or uh, Jibreel coming as a messenger to Muhammad, delivering message to Muhammad when the Quran say clearly, you know what? If you guys were angels, then I will send you an angel as a messenger. But because there is no angels walking on earth, I am not going to send an angel. I send angels to angels, man to man. This is what the Quran is saying. And we showed the interpretation, so Muslims will not say this is our own interpretation, as we see here. You know, it says we will send angel only to angels, messengers who they are angels, only to angels. But as we see, Jibreel came to Muhammad, and Muhammad is not an angel. And we will send the human messengers to human. What the Muslim will say? They will say, uh, Jibreel, he wasn't, wasn't a messenger. No, he was a messenger. Stop playing games. He delivered down the message from Allah. And the same story with Mary. Actually, in the, in the, in the story of Mary, if you read the, the verse of Mary, uh, he said to her, if we go to any interpretation, you, any, any translation you want, chapter 19, verse number 17. 
So uh, our spirit came to her and appeared to her, and then she said, Surely I fly for refuge from you, etc., to Allah. And then he said, I am only a messenger. He is what? He is only a messenger. But you just said to us in the other verse that Allah will not send a messenger to mankind unless he is a messenger like them for mankind. But what we see here that Jibreel is appearing again to Mary. According to Muslim, this is Jibreel. Jibreel, I don't agree with it. I believe this is the Holy Spirit. And actually, the Quran says clearly that this is our spirit. It says, you see, our spirit. It doesn't say Jibreel. However, the Muslim, they say Jibreel, so I will go with it. So as long as you believe that this is Jibreel, then here we have a big problem because Jibreel is a messenger and he is a messenger to Mary. And the other verse saying Allah will not send a man, an angel messenger to a human being. He will send an angel messenger to angels and a man messenger to mankind. So obviously it's a very clear evidence that the Quran is nothing but a fabrication. And we can go and see all the interpretation and we will not find any solution for this problem except it is just a contradiction. This guy Muhammad, the more he talk, the more he, uh, I don't want to use the word, the more he do poo poo, you know. Uh, you know, the best way to expose the fool is listen to him talking more and more. The more he talk, the more he make mistakes. So I think this is very clear uh, and obvious mistake in the Quran. And I don't want to say actually mistake, it's a contradiction because he says something and he contradicts himself a different thing. Uh, and actually, there is there is more than one stories about angels, as, uh, you know, uh, speaking to to uh, to people, etc. But I will. It's for me. It's enough to speak about two of them or two cases: the case of Muhammad and the case of Mary. And as long as the Quran and the Muslims admit that Allah He sent angels only to mankind, if the mankind were, they are not mankind, which means only to angels. And He sent mankind only, which means a human, only to human. Muhammad is a human, so the messenger who should come to him should not be Jibreel. And Mary is a human, so the messenger come to her should not be Jibreel. And angels only to angels, and a human only to human. Stupid book, funny, only, only the fool will believe in such a uh, uh, contradiction. I hope you did enjoy it and you learned it. Don't forget to share the video with everybody of your friends. And as always, you know, if you like to learn more about Islam, please feel free to read my book and enjoy the knowledge. Thank you. God bless you. And see you soon with more videos.